So today we have a radioactive source here. Let me show you this. And I can take the source and put it over my Geiger Muller counter here. And it, of course, it counts a lot of hits from this source. Now, what we're going to do is a trick where the radiation coming from this is going to jump over this big uh, iron barrier here and into our counter, which is um, over here. So let's have a look at how this is going to work. Let's cover this up and keep it safe. And so here we are. We've got our uh, source here. Um, it's emitting electrons. Then we have a radiation counter here. And um, what we're going to do is to do this trick is we are going to get a magnet. And our magnet is going to look like this. I have a little gap in between. And when we take this magnetic field and we stick it in between our source and our counter, uh, we produce a magnetic field, in this case, that's pointing um, into the page. And so to figure out what the force is going to be on these negative charges, we use the right-hand rule. So F is equal to QV cross B. Here we need to use the left hand because this is uh, negative particles. So we have V cross B, and we will get a force pointing up. So what we would see is that the electrons bend up away from this counter, and that's not what we want. What we want is to flip the magnetic field, and now the electrons will bend right into our counter. Uh, here's our uh, left-hand rule uh, for this case. So let's have a look and see, and then what we would see is that the rate should be much higher when we're pointing in this direction. So let's have a go and see if this works. So here is our, our, our um, source here. I'm going to open this up. And our source is inside this container here. So the electrons are flying out here. This is cesium-137. Electrons are flying out of this. And what we're going to do is put a magnet on top. This is the north one. And we listen and we don't see here much of a of a, of an effect here because this north um, uh, is basically forcing the electrons up. So now let's flip this around. And now what we can do is hear that there's much higher rate. You can hear the counts happening per minute, and this is up to something like 500 counts per minute. Okay, so again, if I switch this, the electrons are not going into our counter. I mean, there's a few, but this is just from background radiation. And then when we flip this, we get our electric charges. So here we have this radioactive source, which we're going to cover up again. And... Um, there you have it. It's some radiation. It's the force of uh, bending charged particles in a magnetic field. And it's not magic, it's physics, and I'll see you next time. Well, thanks for watching. It looks like I survived today. Um, but if you want to find out if I survive the next experiment, then um, remember to click like, click subscribe, and I'll see you next time.